welcome to jasonduland.com. My name is Jason Duland. I hope you're well. This is your daily hypnosis session. I hope that you're well. I hope that everything's going to plan, whatever the plan is for today. And today I'd like to talk about love. Don't worry, I'm not being soppy and romantic. Um, I guess we're moving towards Valentine's Day and this really isn't a Valentine's Day hypnosis session at all, so don't worry. Um, thinking of love. Loving others and loving yourself. And there's a lot of ideas behind this topic. And some people feel that and say that you can never love another person unless you love yourself. Which is not true. So some of these cliches that happen are perhaps not given a lot of thought by the people that use them. Um, I've met plenty of people as a counsellor that really have very, very low self-esteem and really perhaps don't even like themselves, but they love. They can love others. They may be able to love others more if they can love themselves. I'll agree with that one. But just because someone doesn't like themselves doesn't mean that they don't love their parents or, or their children or their partner. You know, it's a very small-minded idea to just use cliches and not give it any thought. There's lots of those cliches out there. Um, sayings that actually they have meaning but not everyone's the same. We're all different people. So really I guess my idea about love is how do we develop love for ourselves? How can we develop, how can you develop more love for you? Those feelings of self-care and self-regard. How can you feel the same way about yourself? There's maybe someone else that really loves you, feels. How can you feel about yourself the way that maybe you feel about somebody else? Maybe a small child. Maybe you're a parent and you've got a small child or a grandparent. A small child and you love that small child so much. Protective and want to look after that grandson or granddaughter or daughter or niece, whatever. Imagine having that kind of love, protection towards yourself. Wanting to look after yourself. Wanting to make sure that you are safe physically and emotionally. To make sure that you live a healthy life. Making sure that you're happy. Ensuring that you do indeed love yourself in a way that maybe seems unusual. But imagine what that would be like if you could have that love directed inwards that you have for a parent that you love or a child that you love or a grandparent or a wife or a husband that you deeply love. 
Imagine having those feelings towards yourself. Knowing that you can have these feelings anyway. It doesn't have to come from without. It can come from within. And how would that change your life? As you get in touch with the idea as your mind opens to that idea and allows it in to your mind. The idea of really getting in touch with that feeling of love that you have for another directed towards yourself. And just play with it. Play with the idea. The idea of directing that love, pure kindness and compassion that you have towards someone you love deeply. And directing that energy and those feelings and regard towards yourself towards your own heart, towards your own well-being and care, physically and emotionally. And how does that feel? As you just explore the idea that you really can deeply love yourself in a way that maybe surprises you just how easy it is for you to allow these feelings to enter your own heart these feelings of deep compassion and kindness to develop inside you, about you, allowing you to really experience the growing sensations of well-being and compassion that you can experience. now, as you allow yourself to really get more in touch with the emotional and spiritual dimensions of these feelings of compassion that you can now experience towards your own well-being. Remembering that you also deserve to feel love for yourself. To care about yourself. To give yourself those feelings and caring. And it's a nice feeling for you to really allow yourself to be in touch with the feelings and sensations of compassion and love that you can experience now. And you can allow those feelings to grow every day from now on, fulfilling you in ways that you never even imagined before and changing the way you experience yourself in a positive and healthy, loving way as you move into the future feeling full of love for yourself and enjoy the rest of the day feeling wonderful.